Hello everybody, this presentation is about writing at university level and particularly looking into structuring assignments. I am Natalie and I will talk to you about the following topics. Firstly, how to structure an assignment and secondly then how to structure paragraphs. So for structuring an assignment, I recommend the sandwich approach. You might be wondering why I'm recommending this but the sandwich is actually a really good picture for writing your assignment now imagine you only have the main part of your writing so just the filling of the sandwich without the introduction and the summary it will completely fall apart each writing may it be a report or an assignment always has an introduction and a summary or conclusion the task of the introduction is basically to establish the background of the topic you're going to talk about and then narrow that background down to a more specific topic. The summary has exactly the opposite role. It first summarizes the specifics of the topic you were discussing, you were writing about, and then contextualizes it, widens it again to the background of your field or of that particular area in your field. As for the main part, the main part is always structured into different headings and subheadings and each of these has different topics in them. So you could see the different topics as the different fillings of the sandwich. And if you don't pile the fillings in the sandwich in a good order, the sandwich becomes soggy and falls apart. And so does your argument in writing. If, for instance, you have the structure of a report and you have themes A, theme B, theme C, D, and in your writing you're talking chronologically, logically about A, B, C, D, that is fine, people can follow that. Unfortunately, sometimes when we get really into a topic and we're really writing about it and you're thinking about it, our mind works not like that. Our thinking doesn't work logically from A to B, from B to C. So that sometimes is reflected in the writing and we are writing about topic A, then about topic B, then about topic A, then about topic D and so forth. So when you're writing make sure you stick with that logical order in your writing and you're building your argument step by step. Similar works the structure of a paragraph. If you look at a paragraph, a paragraph always has a certain structure which is quite similar to that of an assignment. So you will always have in a paragraph an introductory or an opening sentence. This sentence tells you what the paragraph is going to be about. Then you have the main part of a paragraph. In the main part you have your arguments, your facts, your references, statistics, where you make the point more clear, where you talk about details. And then the paragraph usually finishes with a concluding or summarizing sentence. Usually a paragraph is a unit of sense. But sometimes we cannot finish an argument in only one paragraph. So we have to write several paragraphs about that one particular argument. So for this, you don't finish the paragraph with a concluding sentence, but with a linking sentence that leads to the next paragraph in a logical order. And I'm going to show you a uh, example in the next slide. So this particular paragraph is taken out of one of your textbooks. And the authors begin with an opening sentence. If working with a research team, you may need to use their communal databases. So in that sentence, you already know, okay, the, the paragraph is going to talk about teamwork and databases and information. So you look further and you read now the main part of the paragraph, so the filling of the sandwich. Please avoid duplication of effort and ensure uniformity of techniques in techniques. They may also form part of the legal safety requirements for lab work. You will be expected to use the databases carefully and to contribute to them properly. So here you get all the details about working with databases, why you are doing it, how you're supposed to do it. Now, the authors 
want to finish that discussion with giving you examples at the end of it, so they are not finishing the paragraph with an actually concluding or summarizing, summarizing sentence, but with a linking sentence that reads, they may include, colon, and then they are going to provide you with a list of possible records, databases, written records, and so on. So you can see an example of a paragraph, and my colleagues talk about different examples in other vidcasts as well. I hope that a brief overview of structuring writing has helped you. Keep in mind, there is always an introduction, a main part, and a summary to any form of academic writing, but also to paragraphs. So it works in the big as well as the smaller forms of writing. And keep in mind that when you write, you write logically in order and you build your argument step by step and don't get it convoluted. I hope that helped you and see you in the next podcast.